Yeah, hi everyone, hope you're all well. So given that Microsoft certification is changing, how do we know which is the best certification path you should be taking in 2020? Uh, if you didn't know, uh, a previous video in this channel explained that Microsoft will expire all its popular certifications for Windows Server, such as SQL, uh, for example, uh, as well, you know, on the MCSA, uh, MCSE, MCSD path. So they will no, no longer exist after June the 30th, 2020. Uh, so this begs the question, which cert should you look at taking and what goals should you set for 2020? So Microsoft certifications are now job role based, are very much focused on the Azure cloud. Uh, they are based around certification levels, um, starting from the very basic fundamental certification, then up to to the associate level and then beyond to the expert uh, certification. So let's take a, take a look at the Azure certification pass, paths available um, for 2020. So if we browse the uh, role-based certifications now, um, the links are all below by the way, so take a look in the description. So if we look at the, the job roles that are now available, um, so if we choose technology Azure, and we choose a certification level of fundamentals. So we have one exam here for fundamentals. We can explore this certification. So if you're just getting started with Azure, have a look at the AZ900 um, Azure uh, fundamentals exam shown here. So this exam is really intended for, for candidates with a non-technical background, um, such as those involved in selling um, or purchasing cloud-based solutions. Um, and some candidates have some involvement with cloud-based solutions and services. Um, also those with a technical background who need to validate their, their foundational level knowledge um, around cloud services. Uh, now it's important to note that the, the fundamentals um, exam is not a prerequisite so you know if you're more experienced with Azure and if you feel more comfortable you can go straight into any of the associate certifications which we'll take a look at now. So let's now change this certification level to associate so we can now see all the associate certifications listed. So if we go into the administrator associate I can see now it's just a single exam needed to gain that certification. Again, we can see the skills measured. Um, so it's a good idea to um, research these skills and, uh, and skill up in these areas listed in this document um, to enable yourself to, to pass the exam. Going back and looking at the associate certification. So these are classed under uh, core infrastructure, uh, messaging, data management, and analytics, um, security, developer. As you can see, there's a new certification there for, for databases now, for example. So if we now change the certification to expert, we can see there's two certs um, available here. Um, so you've got the Microsoft Certified Azure DevOps Engineer Expert and the uh, Solution Architect Expert. So if we have a look at the Solution Architect Expert, we can see there's two exams required, um, Architect Technologies and Architect Design. Uh, so if you if you pass these two exams, you're going to get the um, Architect Expert um, qualification. So here's a handy table, uh, the links are below, which shows at a high level uh, the different paths uh, to role-based certification options. Uh, so this covers uh, core infrastructure, messaging, uh, teams, data analytics, developer, uh, and Dynamics 365. So as always, subscribe to the channel to gain uh, an insight on real world experiences. Uh, so this is from industry experts um, with over 25 years um, within the IT industry. Uh, so new videos posted weekly uh, will help you on your cloud journey um, for technical information and certifications. So use the subscribe button um, alongside this video below. Um, also check out the blog at cloudinspired.com. Thanks for watching, everyone. See you all soon.